Nitro. TNT. Now it's an aromatic benzene ring, so let's just do our traditional ring here. One diamond. Two diamonds on the side. One on the bottom. Two diamonds on the side. Now it's aromatic. Appears a methyl. You get the methyl in. You want to take your time? Feel free. It's a CH3. We'll color that carbon black if we'd like. Now, what's left? Let's put our side groups on. Try nitro. What's nitro? Nitrogen, right? Let me do this real quick. This is what it would look like in the book. Aromatic. Methyl up there, and O2, not NH. We're used to the ends being. I know the two should be over there. Okay. NO2. Try nitro. See how they're evenly spaced around there? So let's draw the ends in there first. So next to the methyl carbon, it's called the alpha betas. So to the beta carbon off that, we're going to have an, a right angle in. You know how we were doing that before? We kind of messed that up already. So here's a right angle in. Beta carbon over. Get a right angle in. And down here. Right angle in. Now, how are they going to get two NOs on there? O2, NO2. Well, put one on each because it's got to have at least one bond in there, right? One. One. Down here. One. One. It's an aromatic ring, so now we'll draw the double bonds in there. So the top carbon, we'll just count this as the double, the single, the double. A single, so we're going to go this way because that's going to be double, and then that way it'll be single. So again, color in the carbons that that are ready. So there we were, and naturally the tape ran out. So what we were doing was coloring in the carbons. Let's get our double bonds in there. See how the yellow shows up on the orange. Okay. okay. In the ring, there were two of these that had one H on them, so they get kind of a red color. Now the tri nitros. Can we color in the end here? It's not.
not really done, so we should wait. But we're gonna do it. So we are kind of in a hurry here to keep you interested. There's the ends. Now remember the lone pair of electrons. What that's able to do, I better use the marker here. The lone pair is able to give the second bond to one of those. You see that? So we come over to this end here, put a lone pair in there, and then pick one for it to bond to. So we'll let it bond to that one. Down here, kind of the same thing. So we'll put the double bond here. The second bond there. So see, the alien really comes in handy here. So what we're able to do now is finish these oxygens, so color that green, that green, and this green, because that's got the two bonds. But what about that third one? The third one, the, the other bond on this. Remember, oxygen's got three aliens there. One of these is going to get a really big head. It's going to get the negative. Out here, this one, little lone pair, little lone pair, big lone pair. Negative charge. Put that in his head. Over here, little lone pair, little lone pair, big lone pair. Is it that negative charge? So that's what TNT would essentially look like. You'd have this being the traditional structure. Negative charge on those O's. I hope that's right. My chemistry's a little extra. So now we can color them in because at least it's got the octet around it. See how we come back to that octet of electrons? We're all started with the periodic table. So what we've been doing now is giving these aliens like green hair. Maybe someone could be bald. And give them a little. So see, these things are going to fall off real easy. That's why TNT is so reactive. 